simple interest in a spreadsheet. Now we'll click into the spreadsheet application and note that I've already entered a little bit of the data here to save some time. The rate is 8%, the principal $1,000. Time, here we go. Now time's gonna vary, so we're gonna put that into this column. I'll start with a one, tap execute, and I just want to copy, um, basically create a, a, a column here with the time going one, two, three, four, five. So we need a formula equals to start with. Notice it's displayed at the bottom here. We tap onto the value that we wanna add one to. So tap add one. And here's our formula. Into this cell, we'll go the number in cell A4 plus one. Tick the box, and then we can copy it down a few lines doing a variety of things. If we had the keyboard up, we could simply copy and paste. Um, without the keyboard, we could tap and drag one cell and release and so on. So we'll, um, we looked at selection methods earlier in some earlier videos. Now, the next thing is over into this column, we want to calculate the interest. So we'll put the interest heading up here with the keyboard, head off to the ABC tab. We'll have a capital letter to begin with, I, uh, lowercase nt, that will do us. Oh, we got a Z in there, let's edit that out. So we'll tap into there and backspace and select that. Now, the interest is calculated by taking the principal. So we need to start our formula equals the principal multiplied by the rate divided by 100 because we've actually entered it here as a percentage divide 100 and then multiply by the time which in this case is the value in cell a4 so here's our formula now we just need to put in a few modifiers here as we drag this formula down we don't want the reference to cell b1 and b2 to change so we're going to tap into just in front of the two and put a dollar symbol in there and just in front of the one and put a dollar symbol in there to stop these cell references updating as we drag the formula down. Uh, otherwise, we want this one to update as we go down. So we'll tick uh, the box and there's our first interest amount. Um, now, if we copy that down a few cells, here we go. I'll tap and drag and tap and drag and tap and drag one more cell. Now, next up, we want the total to appear on this column. So we'll use capital T O T A L and tick the box. Now, the total is coming from the principal plus the interest. So again, another formula equals the principal P plus the interest for the year, the number in B4. And again, we don't want the reference to cell B2 to change, so we're gonna tap into here and in front of the two, put a dollar symbol and tick the box. So there's our first amount. And again, we'll copy this formula down, tap and drag, tap and drag, tap and drag. And you can see, here's our basic spreadsheet ready to go. So I'll get rid of the keyboard, scroll up to the top, and um, the beauty of this is if we decided to change the interest rate, maybe to 5%, I can tap on five. And as soon as I tap execute, the interest amounts change and the total value changes. And the same for the principal. If I change the initial principal to say $4,000 and tap execute, then you can see the amount of principal has increased year by year and so has the total over here. If we wanted a few more rows, remember um, we select a whole row and then we'll tap and drag down one at a time uh, and we can extend the table as far as we like. Oh, I think that'll do.